Well, good evening. Welcome to our service of Compline. The end of another day is before us. Let us take a moment to settle hearts and minds. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A moment of silent reflection bringing to mind all that this day has held, all that has been before us and within us. And together we pray, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, Spread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, <coughs> that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139. O oh, Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. But there's not a word on my tongue but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the night around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. 
already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O oh God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Zechariah chapter 12 verse 10 I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that, when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him, as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him, as one weeps over a firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Lord, as we bring this day to its close, we pray for John Hambridge and his family as they mourn the loss of Derek, who died yesterday. May he rest in peace and rise in glory, and as we commend him to you, Lord, we pray for Brenda and all that will happen with her, now that her husband has gone. Lord, as we come to the end of this day, a day in which palms were held, prayers were said, Hosanna rang upon our lips. Lord, as we now come in to Holy Week, as we journey through the stations, as we think of all that is before us this week, all within us this week, all that has been given to us by the love of God made flesh, as we take this journey to the cross, Lord, we thank you for life in all of its fullness. We pray this night for those in places of conflict. Thinking, of course, especially at this time, for the Popoff family and for all that is happening around Ukraine and its conflict with Russia and the whole world. Lord, we pray for people who we know here and <coughs> 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 
We pray for the needs before us and on our hearts and minds. Father God, we thank you that you call us to take up our cross, to deny ourselves and follow. To walk in the footsteps of the Christ, to deny ourselves, to serve, to love, to give. To be and Lord this night we pray for those who are serving around the world in military situations those from many forces who are working and preparing to be counted just in terms of numbers not even in terms of conflict Lord we pray for all this night who work for peace all this night who serve in our police, fire brigade, ambulance, hospitals, care homes, all those around the world who in their lives bring service and we pray for Emma Newton and people like her who visit people at home, care for them, provide friendship, companionship and more beside. Father God, we come before you this night and we pray for the people especially on our hearts and minds. We pray for the Treadwell family and their needs, for the Cooley family and all that is within and before their family. For a young woman called Rebecca who's suffering from long Covid. For Sue Shakespeare. We pray for Olive and Trisha and the family as a new week begins tomorrow and having laid Ian to rest, life takes another turn as it becomes something different. We pray for the Cotswold family and the needs there, for the Palin family and all that is happening with them, especially with the many needs they have now supplanted by uh, the awfulness that is Covid. Father God, we pray for church families, for those churches we know where their members are ill, are in need. We pray for St Andrews who today reflected on the loss of Lorena, that we will lay to rest early in May. We pray for June Hawley and for her needs, physical, mental and housing. For Philip and his family and his home needs and the needs of those for whom he cares for the Samfords and all that is before and within them Father we pray for Derek Jones that he may continue to recover for Mo as she cares for George we pray for the Holmes family and their many needs for the Eden family <clears throat> and all that they need especially in Josh and his health, for Simon, for Luke, for Gillian, for the Mitchell family, for Graham and Gillian as he waits for a transplant, for Margaret and John as Margaret goes into radiotherapy. Lord, we pray for Terry and Barbara and for their sustained good health for Janet and Brian and the whole of the family especially as they pray and watch for the changes and the blessings and the still water in the lives of Harry and Damien. We pray for me that I might learn to turn the speaker off. And Father I thank you that today has been a day of joy here but as we go to our beds I pray for Jude and Richard as they wake up and for Reed, the son, as they wake up in Upside Down World in New Zealand. Lord, and we pray for the many who join with us from around the world for our services. We pray for Ellie and all that's continuing in her life as she heads towards her due date. 
and as she enters this coming week with newspapers reporting of those who took her partner's life last week have been now being charged with murder we pray for the tensions tensions and the pressures on that family for miss for sister marjorie jones and as she approaches the end of life that she might leave this life gently as she might in the company of her community be a blessing and blessed as she leaves and father i thank you for a birthday today and thank you yes it was great it was a lovely day janet thank you maureen for your wishes this morning also and as i come to this birthday day which starts the countdown to my last year as a stipendary priest father i pray that you will help me develop <clears throat> a clear understanding and direction for what is next where i will serve you and how i will serve you not as a day-to-day -day job but as a lifetime life filled vocation still so lord i pray for all who have retired all who will retire and for those who think it's a long way off only to blink and find as i have that it's 364 days away father i thank you for the years of ministry for 34 years of ministering in ordained ministry and lord for the next 34 after i've gone in whole life ministry lord this night we pray for all who are testing vocations all who are wondering what's next asking how they might serve you lord we thank you for the privilege that being a, a minister of the gospel lay or ordained it doesn't matter and lord we pray for those people who tell us me so often that they only hand out hymn books, they only open doors, they only welcome. Father, if no one opened doors, if no one welcomed, if no one handed out hymn books, church would be a much sadder and weaker place. So we thank you this night for the ministry of all. That all Christians have a ministry and a calling and a vocation. And who knows? the kindness you have shown we have shown we may have been in the company of angels so lord as we come into holy week as tomorrow the first of our station services starts at 7 30 or is it 6 30 i think it's 6 30 got me times wrong Lord, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour, our Lord, our friend, help us to see and to know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his feet all that we are, all that we have, and all for which we pray. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. 
as the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Thank you for being with us and know the cough hasn't got any better. Take care, guys. Be blessed. You were loved. You were prayed for. We are family. Sleep well. And tomorrow, may it be a day of rejoicing and blessing for you and those people, those places and all things for which you pray. Good night, guys. Bless you.